Hey, everyone. Happy Friday. Okay, let's go to town. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> good good evening, everybody. Yeah, so we figured we'd hop on because we had some news about the Halloween TV series. Good evening, Even though we everybody. all kind of we knew it was coming out because Malik announced it when we were at age 45. But uh, we got a little bit more juicy news today that uh, some people are very excited about and a lot of people were pissed off about. <laughs> If you read online, I was reading a lot of hate and a lot of positivity. So let's see where all, all of us land. Hey, I'm, I don't care what everybody is. I'm stoked. I am excited. I'm, yeah, man. It sounds like it's going to be fun. Don't knock it until you see. Don't knock it until you try it. Amen. Yeah, and, you can't make everybody happy. At least there's some content. They're doing something different, right? Yeah, yeah. Different meaning TV. Based show. on what they based on what they said, they said that it's going to, of course, follow the original film, uh, the OG John Carpenter film. But then it, it might expand on certain characters, like early on in the franchise. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it was very kind of like I'm getting like H four vibes. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe that's why I'm wearing this shirt. I don't know. Well, you know what? Maybe if it, it'd be nice. Oh, if they I don't know. You, it, you, Joe, you might get some people really novel. mad about that. You know, tip it to the Halloween novel. There's a whole backstory in the Halloween novel they could do where where they, you see Michael leading up to him killing Judith. They could yeah. they could even do that. Yeah, that's true. I for me, I'm a, I'm a, a big fan of H4, and I hope they go down that road because Danielle Harris is still starring in movies, and she's still you know kind of relevant. I, I think it's the only meat on any kind of bone. That's just my personal opinion. That's just me. That's well, they could do that as different seasons, like we, season we, one. We could have, be Halloween season two could be maybe an offshoot of Halloween four. Season three could be could be even be an offshoot of season of H three. There's yeah. so much they could do. I, I I just immediately started thinking. I think about you and like, I talked about that. Like it would be cool, like if they did a season every episode. Yeah, and it, it could offshoot from one of the films. That's you know, pretty pick up pick up off the first one to start, and they could maybe pick up all, pick up at the end, uh, end of page two. You can follow the brother sister trilogy, and maybe you see Michael get up. Maybe he fell down, and then the mask was burning, and maybe his body got away. Because at the end of H two, they never make mention of his body. You could have, you could, it could have been like, you know, we didn't find any boy. You know, we didn't find any body. That's <laughs> you true. know, you I see his mask burning, but doesn't mean he's in it. They should do something about Mister Sales. How about that, Reverend Sales? <laughs> Let's keep going with him. You're hunting it, ain't you? You're hunting it, ain't you? Well, let's see who's hanging with us here on a Friday night until Halloween. <laughs> Mr. Ryan Underwood, what's up, man? Really simple. You give me Michael Myers and I'll be happy. See? That's Amen. the way everybody should be. Amen. Hey, Ryan. Ryan. Simplicity, Ryan. I love it. And uh, who else Simplicity, is in the chat? Simplicity, baby. Oh, good buddy. Lurch is in the chat. Underwood. Joey popped in. What's up? Miss Colorado. Hey. Hi, Lurch. Joey's good guys. You should come to uh, Chiller Theater. Fly in. Oh, Joey's in the chat. She popped in the Joey's chat. Joey's in the yeah, chat. Hey, Myron, what's going on? They could even tackle Scout's version of Lori for a season. Yeah, there's so many right. possibilities. I say, you know what? Every season, pick it up from one of the films, either a backstory of a pre of a certain film, or pick up at the end of the film. And you could do that easily. Pick up at the end of Rob Zombie's Age Two. Why not? Yeah, uh, I I don't know. I've been hearing a lot of fate like. I've been hearing different like opinions or you know reading different opinions. Are you excited? Are you upset that it came out this soon? Did you want there to be more lag time, or are you excited about the fact that we might get something a lot sooner than later? No, I think this is I think this is strategic okay. because you know what? Because he has been it's all been quiet. It's all white noise on the Halloween front. So mm. why not throw something out there? Nothing's get, been filmed yet, though. Too. Nothing's been filmed. Nothing's but, been you know filmed. Yeah. Let's get out there. And just you know, let's put a little uh, buzz so people will get back into talking Halloween because Halloween was starting to get a little quiet. Didn't see even collectibles, you know, moral collectible collectors. Yeah. Not much out there going on. I, not I would much say going on in the Halloween world, even if a lot of the cons, like like even Chiller Theater by us that that Freddy's coming to, no Halloween people, so it's very quiet. So throw something out there to get the buzz going. Yeah, I mean, you throw a little bit of bait, you might you're bound to catch some fish. I yeah, mean, and. And you know what? I, I got the article up here, and it doesn't say. Um, you know what? They can even probably 
fast track something over the summer and even have it out for, for the fall. Yeah, you they, never know. But the way they shoot stuff nowadays, man, they can they can push out something super fast. Yeah, super fast. I and yeah. I wanted to I wanted to kind of use the example as the the Chucky series because they look how successful the Chucky series has been, and it revitalized that franchise. Because yeah. it was it had some you know shoddy moments in some of the films, but now Chucky's at the forefront, baby. He is as relevant as he ever has been. And I'll of- add I'll add to that too. Joe Bates Motel was great. Bates yeah, Motel was, was really good. One of my Absolutely. favorite TV shows was Absolutely. Bates Motel. Yeah, and especially in today's world, you know, where Netflix is king, you got mini series, you got man, think about that. There's so much money they could make there. You know, so you know it's all about money. We got to be real. So if they put some good content out there, bro, they they they're gonna be ooh, they're gonna be making a lot of fucking money. Show Damn. me the money. Show me the Watch money. And it's not showing, and and everybody's like, oh, I wonder where it's gonna stream. I would put any amount of money is gonna be on the cock. You think so? Yeah, because they they had the last three there. Yeah, yeah. So I don't see why they would strike a deal to be on Peacock. Yeah. Perhaps. I mean, Peacock's got some pretty decent. Oh wait, movies. but it's Miramax, right? Or it's yeah, it's Miramax. Who, yeah, who is it's it Trank now? Miramax. Trank is Miramax, but Miramax was yeah. part of uh, the, the Blumhouse. Yeah. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like, didn't they renew that deal after those movies came out? I thought. Yeah, yeah but Miramax okay. was still part of it because you remember it, it, there was they were actually in the intro because they still own a stake in it. So they were part of it too. So I would have, but you always got to think where else would it be? You're going to have to put it on a platform where it's going to be big. They're not going to put it on shutter because not everybody's got shutter. They're not going to put it on screen box. Cause not everybody's got screen box. So out of all the streaming platforms, we're going to put it. Peacock is the most logical one. I mean, maybe Netflix, but Netflix, Peacock, has got so much Netflix. Shit on it. Netflix has so much stuff on it. I don't think they'd go near it. I think, I think it's going to end up on the cock. You think so? That's they my might, guess. They might. They might. No, nah, it's not a bad. It's not bad at all. Netflix is pretty big, and Netflix is going to start. I think they're going to start their uh, live streaming sooner or later here too. So that'll be awesome. Be a big deal. Awesome. Oh, look who we got in the chitty chat, man. Nice to see you, buddy. Hey, oh, is that Matt? Hey, Matt, hey, Matt, what's up, Matt? What is going on? I'm sure there's going to be a lot of discussion uh, Monday. If you, I'm sure you'll do some Michael Myers Monday. It's gonna be a lot going on just oh. especially over the weekend. Everybody's gonna be chattering and there's gonna be all sorts of stuff in, in in all the groups. Some that's gonna be positive and some that's gonna be negative because I saw a lot of negativity. People just hating on it before it's even put to put to uh film. Yeah. You know, it, I, I think it's getting worse with um our um our fan base, unfortunately, but what are you gonna do? It sucks. It's just it's like everybody's got to understand. It's not going to be tailor made for you. It's not going to be tailor made for me. It's not going to be tailor made for you guys. It's yeah. going to be what is going to bring in the biggest audience and make the most money. Because it's not about, you know, everybody wants like Joe wants the, the Halloween four. But he's talking this Halloween four part two. But they're like, that's his passion, right? Yeah, it, it's it'd be, no, no, it would be great, and fans would love it. But if you if you were sitting there with your company and you know there's no way in hell it's going to make money, they're not going to do it. Yeah, and I, and I think keep in mind everybody has to. Uh, what we say, no, Joe, sorry. no, I was just going to say, we have to keep in mind that they have to keep with the times. They yeah. have to try to bring in a new, younger audience to roll out with. You know what I mean? Same thing what they did with Chucky. Chucky has this, you know, this young couple of boys, you know, they're, they got the hots for each other. And they're very, you know, a lot of the stuff that is written is for the young kids today. So they're going to have to come up with some type of storyline that fits the young, you know, the youth narrative of this, you know, these young kids now. So I, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a combination of old and new shit, in, in my opinion. It has to be I, to make it work. I, I think we all have to remember, and unfortunate we are fans, but it is a business first and foremost, too. So they're going to go where the money is. <laughs> I does. mean, you have somebody that does care about true. what the fans say, and Malik, God, he does care, but he's also a businessman. So he, he can tell or make it, they can tell or make it to us fans to a degree, but it's got to reach a broader audience, too, because... It's got to yeah. make money. Got- In the business, you can make a lot of friends, but you can make a lot of money. Which one are you going to go with? <laughs> that's true. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Byron says, what if they put it on Prime Video? And- I don't know. I, I have a funny feeling it's going to probably – I that's just a guess. I think Peacock, it just it senses that it's Peacock just with – Yeah, I think – yeah, I think it'll definitely there, end up there. 
there's going to have to be some type of premium aspect to it. I don't think they're just going to stream it uh, based on something that you already pay a, a certain monthly uh, fee for. There's got to be some type of premium aspect to it. There's going to have to be. You know what I mean? Like, like every episode mm. is going to be 20 bucks or some bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to be. They can they can fucking pigeonhole us like a motherfucker. Exactly. But my phone is screen, would be happy. It's just something to watch, man. Five or six one hour episodes. I think that's about doable. Or I guess a little, yeah. few more episodes, maybe. I don't and know. And but my suggestion is don't just dump the whole series. Drop a new episode every week. Because you yeah, know how they like, just drop a whole season, you binge it, and then you walk away from it. Oh yeah. Isn't it better if you Watch one, and it keeps you in suspense until the following week, because you're like, "Shit!" And that that'll keep people coming Prime. back. Yeah, Pat Prime does it that way. Like, that's what, the if way you watch it the boys or Reacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's they the do. way it should be done because it built it, it builds that uh, enthusiasm and just and the suspense of like, "Oh shit!" You each one could li- end like sort of on a cliffhanger, like, "Oh god!" Now you have to wait a whole week, and and people can discuss it in all the various YouTube channels and all the yeah. the groups. Instead of just dumping the whole season, then you just kind of, you know, for the lack of better time, just shoot your whole load and you're done. You watch it and that's it. Well, I, 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 when it's worked out with me that way, like I might miss a week or two because we've been busy. So I get to watch two or three episodes. Yeah. And you get caught, you'll get cool. caught right up. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I like the fact that if they did it that way, I, I am very like, if I watch something, I got to watch it again to, to, to kind of catch if I saw or if I missed anything. Mm-hmm. So you're you're able to kind of mm. dive in deep to those episodes and pick them apart in, in 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 preparation for the next episode. So I I love shit like that. Like when it was like Sons of Anarchy, uh, I remember The Walking Dead, the first two seasons. Like I remember when they would come out, you know, every fucking week. That shit was killing people with anticipation, man. That shit. Yeah, was... I was right there watching, and I was oh. like, I was like, uh, if you watched it on a Sunday, like the episode would be at eight o'clock. And yep. then, in case you miss something, you rewatch it. They rerun it at nine o'clock. Right again. then, you watch yes. it again. Then you watch the Talking Dead and talk yes. about it. So that there was, was the no best. way you missed anything. That was the best. That so was if they did something like that. Best. You know, like t- Talking Shape. You know, Talking. You know, get some, <laughs> let's have a show, man. Oh, get talking man. Shape. Look at that. That yes. is some, why not. That is some sexy shit. And if Talking if that dead, happens, talking dead. If, if if that happens, imagine we're gonna be doing shit after every episode. We're gonna be recapping every episode. We could do. We could, could do could recaps. Do that. Could do that. <laughs> oh my god, we're putting our name out there. We're signing the deal now. Signing the deal that. now. We're doing the the, the the Halloween show TV series recaps with the Halloween. Well, <laughs> and if it, the only thing is, you know what? As long as they don't do the same thing as The Walking Dead and have it on Sunday nights, because then we got to move the podcast <laughs> to a different night. Because we got to yeah. be watching it, and then we got to go live. That's true. And I yeah, actually bring up. I hope it's not on AMC. I. Something like on a streaming service will probably keep the violence in order too. But just I mean, they have for to. me, they for have me, to. it would be fitting if it was under Michael Myers Monday. It would be fitting, right, Matt? <laughs> well, that's right. And that's oh. uh, last week oh. he had uh, he had Eric Preston last Monday, and this Monday is Jeffrey Landman. Yeah, so they had Joe's friend Eric Preston on. I wish Joe was on there to say hello and say thanks uh, for mailing me. Asleep. My- I love him. Hey, he's more baby asleep. all day, <laughs> all day. Eric, I, tra- I turned it on and then I, I, I nodded off. Table. I was tired. What's up, Mark? Let's talk some. Oh, oh Raccoon Eyes is here too. Hello, Hello Raccoon Eyes. Dexter, Dexter, best show. Dexter was awesome. Oh, Good Dexter show. was killer. Yeah. So, well, I'm actually excited. Like, what do you got? What are you bringing up? I brought some of the, the bloody disgusting shit. It's bloody disgusting. Oh, hold on. We got uh, D Tiger Entertainment. Let me read this out. It says, "Hey guys, Jeffrey Tyler Smith here. Finally getting to join for a live broadcast. Great having joined the group for the TV series. I do prefer a broadcast like Chucky on an actual channel once a week. Oh, hey, man, bro- exactly. hey, man, brother. Hey, man. Good to have you, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Good to have you, man. Nice to have you, buddy. Yeah, thanks for popping in. So yeah, so I mean." I mean, it's not too too much other than basically where they're where they're going. You know, creative reset. It's not saying where it's going to stream. It's going to be a creative reset completely and going back to the original film as opposed to spinning out of any of the more recent film adaptations. It, Which it, sounds it, great. You know, I'm all for it. It doesn't that, say it, it doesn't say what the timeline is. It doesn't say if he's young. Yeah. Or if he's yeah. older. You know, a lot of people are speculating, well, 
somebody mentioned, oh, well, it's a Halloween. It's a, it's a, um, a holiday once a year. How are you going to make a series out of that? Well, it could either be pick up from when it could lead up to him killing Judith during that whole, the whole first series could be him leading up and then killing Judith at the end. And then Good. you wait for season two to find out what happened. That's true. And then, or, or vice versa. You the institution it, stuff in there too. Exactly. Well, vice well, versa. He, it starts with him killing Judith and then you see him, the trial. You have a Loomis there and him go off to the asylum. Well, well, let me ask you this question. Based on that that quote there, it says, uh, as opposed to spinning out of any of the more recent film adaptations. Now, are you think you're talking about the, the Green Trilogy? Yes, because that's you, the later part of the storyline. Or, or or are you you consider some of those movies at, like, before that as well? Like, what would, think, what would be the cutoff? That sounds like the there were 78 stuff. Okay. I just think by recent film adaptations, I did, they're basically saying it has nothing to do with the Blumhouse trilogy. So no, okay, and even and even stuff that predates those. What do you think? Like Resurrection, all them other, sh you know, like how far I, back do you think they go? Five? I think you're talking seventy eight to eighty one. I talk just one and two. Oh, like, you're talking just one. one, two. That's it. Okay, that's that time okay. frame that of the okay. story. My opinion. Okay. My opinion. And this quote here, the foundation of it is the original film, the John Carpenter movie, the characters of that film, and perhaps a group of characters that we haven't really focused on that much in recent film versions, See. or even a number of them. So they can start pulling people from okay. the original the original timeline I, and see where it goes. Sunday, guys, what do you think? I think we're doing our casting calls. I think we need to do our casting calls if we're just going to talk about the original <laughs> characters for this TV show. That's it. We're bringing out the Definitely current people, that. not the wishes. The current yeah. people we think should do it. That's good. I like that, Eric. Maybe include what happened to Michael's parents because it is mentioned. In, they there's so much they can draw from the original no novelization because they make mention of his parents, how they moved away, but they were still paying the taxes on the house, and they 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 they, they and they escaped to because you know basically what like um what was said in the Rob Zombie one they couldn't deal with having this son who's the boogeyman. You know, or Satan's Satan's mother, or something like that. However, they phrase it in that film, but they make mention that the parents are still alive, because obviously, in part two, they say the, the parents were killed, and then the Strodes adopted Laurie. But that all yeah. depends on if they go with the whole brother sister angle. But if they don't, if they pick up from the novelization that uh, the parents were still alive, and they just, mo I think they said they moved to like, if I, I want to say like Salt Lake City or something. They moved like that, which to, is yes. odd. Uh oh. Slovakia. Uh oh. We just lost Am I the only one that wants to know what Michael did with the wrench after he broke the window? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Michael just Michael just took uh Joe out <laughs> <laughs> with the wrench. Yeah. <laughs> Travis, what's I, going I, on? Hey Travis, I, I really think we we might need to do a casting call, Pat. What do you think? I think we need to rank our people for these movies for these. We could definitely movies. do that. Yeah, we should uh like it makes mention of what it's a, a group of characters that we haven't really focused on. So maybe we can pull out characters that we say, you know, it'd be good if they highlighted this person a little bit more. Oh, here's Joe. He's back. There's Joe. What happened? Okay. Somebody took you out. Just get, just fucking shut off. Fuck it. But I'm back. Just maybe, maybe we could know more about Bob. Let's know more about Bob. <laughs> what about Bob? The guilty pleasure. Michael is an absolute. Yeah. And that's what they could do each season. Maybe pick up from yeah. what whatever uh, a timeline is in a well, specific movie. They can do the thorn, you know. Maybe get it. We want to, you know. I like. I still like the anthology thing. Even if they did the first season like this and then went to the anthology thing, I guess if they go pick different people, what about a Bucky backstory? Sure, that's cool. Hey, yeah. And I like uh, what Jeff said right here. He said, "Do you guys think this could be a prime opportunity?" To do like the first issue of Chaos Comics with the whole Smith Grove aspect. That, oh yeah, hey, that's some cool shit, man. Am I, you know what though? I I really was hoping that we would have had something off of three. You could have given Myers just a little break. I'm not saying like a long break, but I was kind of bummed about that though. Maybe they're still yeah. doing something. You never know. Yeah, maybe I'm, they'll tie in Silver Shamrock with the TV show somehow. You More know. about Michael's parents and Loomis, of course. Yeah, because you don't really know them too much. I mean, without bringing up the novelization again, they can draw so much from it because it tells you a little bit about the parents. It tells you a little bit about uh, the grandmother and how he's close to the grandmother. And the grandmother's telling him the stories of, you know, Halloween. And basically, they don't have to necessarily pull out of the novelization 
the reason why, because in the original novelization, for those that haven't read it, go back and check our book up, book club out. It gives you the reason why he is the way he is, but they don't necessarily have to do that because yeah. you still want that ambiguity because it's it's scarier not yeah. knowing than knowing. Michael's parents have been a big mystery of the whole thing for quite a while now. When you start looking back on all of this, Even it, it if, seems like they they're the ones that have the cursed beginnings, right? Like there's there's a lot from yeah. that, that they could come up with, you know. What is it that, why is this family curse? You know what I'm saying? Should include that, Michael speaking. Yeah, well, he spoke at the beginning of the novelization. And then he just, he, he just clammed up when, when, uh, when he basically just switched. And, yeah, you got to hope they don't do something like with Judith Meyer's boyfriend or something. Maybe he freaking slashed Meyer's bike tires or something. <laughs> maybe <laughs> less, <laughs> like that. <laughs> that bastard, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> maybe he lasts a little bit longer. He wasn't a minute, man. Yeah, elements of the novels. Yeah, absolutely. Byron says they could do a ten episode limited series season with Allison. Would would it make sense? Yeah, actually, Byron sent me a bunch of really good stuff. Some pitches of uh, some where they could pick up from the Allison timeline. And you know what? And that's all part of it. Where different seasons could pick up from different timelines. I would like that because you know what? There's so many Halloween fans, and obviously, I would say ninety nine point nine percent of them love the first film. And then there's a, factions of people that love some of the other films, maybe not as much. And this this is such a broad range. So why not pick up from like the timeline of each of each one? So not only are you giving more content because we all we eat it up like candy, but you're also satisfying that faction that loves the Thorn trilogy or or loves the brother sister angle. You know, yeah. there's so much they could do, or or like Byron's suggesting, but you know, let's see Allison's story go on. Yeah, <laughs> Matt, Mr. and Miss Myers, the first six years. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we, we, we really need to have Charlie Bowles involved in this, don't we? Somehow. Who? Let's get Charlie Bowles all involved in this. Well, that was that was the thing, too, because yeah. remember we were talking about if they did the anthology series and they did different stories, like short stories, sort of which an anthology is, like a creep show type thing. Got and yeah, we won't. We want the Charlie Bowles story. Maybe Charlie Bowles knows this the Strode family or something, you know, that could, or the Myers family. Maybe it's all connected. But that would be cool if we got the Charlie Bowles story, Bucky's backstory. Uh, like I said, Reverend Bud sex capades, you know, something shit like that. <laughs> yep. see, see Bud bed down Bud a couple sex of sex would be a good episode. <laughs> Bud capades. Oh, Bud capades, yes. Bud capades. I mean, we're also we're not we're, we're looking at you know what if there's more backstory to bracket, you know what I mean? Yeah. The, the bracket, there could be more there with brackets. I mean, just going down the list, we um, could find out where Brackett's wife was. It was never mentioned. We don't know if she's dead. I mean, yeah. and and um, even in the Rob Zombie one, it's allu it's alluded that they're divorced. Yeah, said she's not dead, but in the original, you don't know where the mother. The the he makes mention of it in part two. You know, I have to go tell my wife. Let's find out. But you can find out more about his backstory. That's true. That's true. Yeah, my like what kind of a... tobacco does he use in his pipe? You know, shit like that. <laughs> that's just, that's just you know, and he still and he still survives, right? I mean, so yeah. what the hell? I mean, well, not in kills, but but no, no. I mean, like you know what I mean from part two. Like he's, you know, he's still he's still relevant in a way. Travis said, we can have the killer in Russellville and the cult of Thorn, and there's a story showing that every town has their own Michael. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. How did Ben Tramer get a similar mask like Myers? Some silly shit like that. <laughs> you can always do some goofy. <laughs> well, I think that when they say the certain characters, you know they'll probably pull like Richie and Lonnie and Ooh. all them into it. They'll probably, maybe they'll pull Ben Tramer into it because it's, he's he makes he's mentioned in the first one, but you don't see him. Steve Todd. Remember, we can see who Steve Todd is. There's so many characters that are mentioned in the original that you never see. Paul, you never saw Paul. Life. I know you saw him in Rob Zombie. We never, movie, we never saw Paul. Paul. Yeah. Oh, who, Paul. Who, would play, who would play a young Jamie Lee? Now you're in. That the is girl from Thanksgiving. Time. Give me the girl from Thanksgiving. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I think that would be great. I think she'd, yeah, I think she'd do well. It's got to be good. somebody who's caring. Yeah, I you told know. you we're related, damn it. <laughs> oh, I love her. She's so cute. They're going to pick some shit like Jenna Ortega or some shit. Oh, God, please, no. <laughs> I can see it now. Michael's about as to kill this As much as I like Jenna Ortega, let her, 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 her explode. <laughs> on a journey to find out what, what took 
is killed from it. And he joins, <laughs> he joins grab ass taken down. <laughs> <laughs> Travis is strongly in the minority who strongly dislikes the original film, but has affection for, get out, but has affection for the sequels. <laughs> he said, get out. <laughs> He's playing. This is gonna Travis be the first time I'm this is the first time I've ever asking Travis. This. You're fucking with us, right? <laughs> <laughs> Travis is like, oh, I'm dead serious. Well, there's people who like some of the other films and put that at the top of the list over you Halloween, serious, which I get. Which, which, like our, our buddy Joe, who puts H two at the top of the list, which is fine. Amen. There's nothing wrong with that. That's how he grew. No. Up. A lot of That's people right. put it. H H four was their gateway drug. I, there's lots of people that put H four at the top, and I get it. Halloween's a part of his time. Like we've told, we've told the story. I've told the story of how I showed it to my kids, and I was like, "What do you think? What do you think?" And they're like, "Eh." Because it was a product of its time. They're desensitized to things that are so much more. That's they actually enjoyed the Rob Zombie version because it's made for this generation. So I tell more, you, I more amped up. Yeah, I would love the who's the brunette comedian that was the mom in the Chucky remake. Uh, what's her name? She would be a great Annie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you're talking about. She's a oh, babe. Right. Yeah, she's oh, yeah. Oh, oh man, the one from Brad Bad Grandpa. She's the horny uh, chick in Bad Grandpa or Dirty Grandpa. Uh, Somebody in the chat's gonna know who I'm talking about. Brackett's wife got a taste of the Duke from Friday the Thirteenth. Uh, That's why they're divorced. Aubrey, Aubrey, no. <laughs> Aubrey Plaza. Yeah. Aubrey Plaza. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah. Ah, why not her? I definitely like that. <laughs> <laughs> I need to throw water on somebody. <laughs> Cool me down. Imagine Ethan Hawke as Doctor Loomis. Okay. I'm not going to shit on that because Ethan Hawke is a hell of an actor. I think that would be a, a good little spit on it. I mean, you know, it's and that's another thing. Are, are they going to try to cast somebody that looks exactly like Donald Loomis, like a bald guy with a goatee, or are they going to go a different route? That's the whole thing. Are they going to try to get uh, all the somebody characters to look like the OG characters? We need somebody philosophical, right? Philosophical. I don't know. Who could fit I, the I, bill? I just laugh. That bloody disgusting picture. Every time I see that uh, production still Myers breaking through the cop window. That is just Malcolm McDowell. That seems so funny, right? Michael, Jesus Christ! Ah! <laughs> yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Bloody hell! <laughs> Whoa, what's going on over there? Aren't you? Shouldn't you be in bed, Darren? I'm going with Kurt Russell for Loomis. Ah, oh, of oh, course. Good evening, oh. Darren. Oh, come that in would be, here. That would be good. Kurt Russell as, as Loomis. I would like that. Dude, yeah, this is another Giamatti. one too. Gary Oldman as Loomis is another Paul one. Dude, Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. <laughs> Give me Giamatti. He's gonna win an Oscar. He's gonna be hot here. I hope hey, he wins the Oscar. At least. Not bad. And then we can get uh, Bill Skarsgård to play Michael. Okay. Look up Elon <laughs> Musk. He has Donald's eyeline, and I think he could capture his cadence. Really? What is he in? Because I don't know the name. I might have seen him. Where's Michael? Has he killed a guy? Is he killed again? <laughs> then that's the whole thing. You should get to wonder: Are they going to Hudson as people? Lewis? What? <laughs> that looks like everybody. <laughs> Ernie Hudson. But I'm telling you right now, I'm going to boycott mm. if Jenna Ortega is Laurie Strode. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Jenna Ortega, she's going to be in the. Uh, she's in the new Beetlejuice, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right, daughter. She's We're getting hot, the trailer yes. here, I guess, in a couple weeks. She's a she's hot, bro. She's on fire, man. She is slowly becoming the Ryan Seacrest of movies, where he's in everything, and you really just it's it's like a tick that you try to you have to pull off. Yeah, she's, stop. She's she doesn't everywhere. need to be in Ow. everything. She's everywhere. Ow, that would hurt. Let's no. go older. Let's go. Captain Harris from Police Academy, GW Bailey. That would oh be. Oh my great god. <laughs> <laughs> There. Michael, don't touch my balls. <laughs> <laughs> you said that to me the other day. It was funny. Could Joaquin Phoenix play a sergeant touch type character? <laughs> oh, he could definitely. He wouldn't do it. There's no way in hell he would do it. But yeah, I could see that. See He's here. just twisted enough to do that. I he could be. A, I could see him being like a Cochrane because he's because the way he did the Joker, how twisted he was. He could do that. Oh, dude, Jared Harris is a fantastic pick there. Jerry Harris is a good actor. Wow. Yeah, you can pull off the Loomis and a little goatee action. You know what I'm saying? Hey, now you're talking. Now It'd be you're interesting. Talking. It's, it's going to be interesting going forward. And if they're smart, if they dro dro drop dribs and drabs and really get people psyched like this, I mean, Brett called me on the way home and I didn't even know about this because I was so busy at work. 
And then when I got at home, yeah. I'm like, oh, let's I start looking it up and it's everywhere, every Facebook group, there's videos, everybody's going crazy with it. So it's a smart move. And then if they just drop like maybe every so often a little little crumb for us, it's gonna be very interesting going forward. I hope they can get their shit together and, and try to get it out by this fall rather than have to wait another you know, year. Oh no, I don't know about depending on where they start, like if they did start with uh, Judith dying, I think it'd be cool to have kind of a significant person play Judith. Kind of like, you know, Drew Barrymore in Scream. Have somebody significant in that uh, role, in that spot. That would be cool. That's a good idea. That's not bad. Who no, could I mean, play Judith? Let's see what else is going here on the chat. Toughy. That's a toughie. Before oh, the the WWE yeah, so that's it. I mean, there's it's, I mean, it's a little bit, but and everybody's making a lot more of it and speculating like crazy. But it's just all about the where would you guys most like to see it pick up since they're saying it's going back to John's original uh idea. I really wish it would start at the beginning, like and go through the institution, everything. If you're going to make a TV show, right? I just maybe they might not want to do that in case they don't get the viewership, but. Come on, they're going to get the viewership. Who are we kidding? Get the, they're going to yeah. get it. They'll get it. Start when he's a kid. Start with the kids. Start. They go through the institution stuff. Yeah. See what happens. Even if if you start like, uh, you know, not not to take away from Rob Zombie, but the, the day of. Let's see how he was that morning, much like Rob Zombie did to make him just snap. Because he didn't wake up that morning and just say, "Okay, I'm going to wake up and just turn into a killer." Let's see where it, how it just happened. Yeah, you don't, somebody steal his high C juice box or something? What the fuck? Come on. I mean, like it's, it, in the novelization, they're trick or treating, and you remember, and that this would be this would be good if they did put this to screen. You remember in the novelization, he's out trick or treating with his friends, and they go and knock on the door, and Judith answers the door, and um, they go trick or treat, and she's like breaking their chops about, oh, you know, this is this, this is that, and then Michael's in the back and says, "I'm going to kill you." Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she said, "Who said that?" And they and she realized it was her brother. She's like, "You're going to be in trouble for that." Something like that. How cool would that be on screen with a kid, you know, in in that out in that clown outfit? There's so much that, would, that you could take from that. Absolutely, that would be that would be cool. Yeah, I and, think uh, though, if you're going to go back to that stuff, Pat, I think it'd be nice to see it in a regular environment, not like the uh, trashy my Meyer's wife or my right. mother was a stripper. Let's yeah. get it in a regular setting again if we're going to go back that route. Do you like Car the way Carpenter did it, where it was just a traditional household, ordinary family? Because it's ordinary scary. Family in a suburb. Yeah, Doctor. Oh, oh, that's good. Yeah, Matt said uh, the cast should be a bunch of unknowns. I agree with that. Uh, except one big name in a small but pivotal role. Hey, that's... that's yeah, man. use the carpenter formula. Dr. Hoffman. You know? Drago's the most perfect that's right. trained athlete. Michael could, <laughs> Michael could have been thrown from the wreckage. There's no way of knowing. He's on his <laughs> way. He hits, he destroys. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, oh. and you could also have him or... I don't know how this would work though. If it started out with him yeah. doing, you know, that, and then you're you're in the institution, and you're again almost um, slightly the Rob Zombie two thing, where he's in the institution, and he's sitting there because remember he just he just sit there, he wouldn't cry, he wouldn't even move, he would just sit there. But then as you're sitting there, you're going into his mind, and he's thinking back maybe to the night he killed Judith or what was leading up to it. So now you're going back in his head and thinking, seeing what he's thinking because he's sitting there this whole time. Yeah. He's, so something's going on in there. Let's see what's going on in there. That'd That'd be interesting. True. Interesting. I like it. And if you remember in the novelization, um, when he's there, all the wacky shit that kept happening, happening there but they never saw him do anything and, mm -hmm. and remember Loomis kept saying I know it was him I know it was him but they could oh, never yeah. see anything happen to pin it on Michael it could so they be could a show events in the sanitarium where things happened like just certain things that happened where people would get hurt and it was usually people that wronged him that and could be that could be a buildup to the events of what happened that night you know I mean after you know post that my bad post like to me it's like there's a lot of different kills, a lot of different scenes, a lot of different things that could happen in that type of setting. That would be cool. That would I, be cool. I got a, 
would you put the when if Myers gets to his killing level at the adulthood life? Are we doing that in taking place in the seventies? Are we taking do this do this during present time too? And, and think about it that way. A lot has changed in the world in forty five years. Too, I so. think it should stay in the same timeline because you know what? What are you going to do? You're going to have Michael stealing a cell phone and people talking on cell phones and on the internet. And then you got just, Halloween, then you got Halloween abortion, and we don't need to go there. But, you know, after hearing how much it was going to cost for them to keep that stuff in the 70s, remember that whole talk about that? Like, if they would have made kills mostly in the 70s, that was like a, a big budget thing. So, oh, yeah. Um, I'm just throwing just predicaments out well, there. That they don't up, necessarily, right? it was a big budget thing because they wanted to get the same type of grain look that was on that 35 millimeter film. They don't necessarily have to do that. They could set it in that time period, but not necessarily have to do that, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it depends. I mean, again, we have to bring in a new age of, of youngsters. They're not going to be too keen on watching shit take place in the 70s. You know what I mean? So there, yeah. there, it might be a combination. What the hell's their cell phone, damn it? <laughs> yeah, there might, be, there might be a combination of old episodes versus the, the current. You know what I mean? Like shit right. that happened in the past and then shit that's happening in the current. So there might be a, a combination of the two. Like in, in the Chucky series... There's two different storylines that are going along during the episodes. Yes, you got what you got. What's going on with the kids, and then you got what's going on on the Jennifer Tilly side. What if they have some type of thing like that where they're bouncing back and forth upon different, you know, time frames in the in the in the in the in the big scope of things? So like you know, you got young Michael shit going on, and then you the next episode you got shit going on with uh, you know adult Michael or whatever, and, and and it can go and that can happen with any character. You know what I mean? And then somehow, mm -hmm. some way, in the later end of the seasons or whatever, if they, they all start a way, start finding out a way to come together. You know what I mean? That's why it's good, like having people in the chat here, and then all of us talk. Like all these different situations, we got to think about when they're talking about this or when they're putting this together. Yeah. Just better being prepared with what I we do like this. Don't forget, Sartain claimed to be a student of Loomis, so he could be around there too with Wayne Hoffman and Loomis. Yeah, give, give him some more marrying too. We can see how much more yeah. uh, we could be chain smoking outside. That'd be cool. That would be cool. That says set in the sixties and seventies would be ideal, but modern day sounds more. Well, that's it. It does say they're saying recent. So if they do modern day, you know, it it sort of kills the mystique because in the set it, there's so much more dread because of the seventies. Why? Because he easily he just easily took the phone line out, so you lost that set of communication. Sure. And that was it. So if it's going to be modern day, there's not going to be a, a landline. There's going to be a cell phone. There, there's going to be email, a computer, or or iPad, or all this other stuff. To me, let's let's make yeah. it so they don't have that accessibility to be saved, because but that can you're be... much more vulnerable back in those days than you are now. Sure. Yes, but but with anything, you know, he has learned how to adapt and how to how to kill with the times. You know what I mean? Like he's he's learned the ropes and he's 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 now as you get older, you get more experience, you get more, you know, and he's the fucking boogeyman. He can make anything happen. You know, like these random phone calls. He picks up the phone. Nobody's on the line like that mystique, that mystery, that 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 supernatural effect that he has. He can use that to a greater effect with all that advanced technology shit. You know what I mean? The cell phones have no signal. He can block signal, whatever it is. You know, I'm just thinking outside the box. That but would like, make it. Yeah. Okay. The boogeyman has, I mean, if we got hackers, you know, logging in and, and, and shutting down our fucking cell phones and shit, I'm sure the boogeyman can find a way to kill somebody. Well, that the whole cell phone <laughs> thing was something that really bugged me because it's so creepy in the in the original when Myers picks up that phone and you that's the first time you get that great look at his mask. I would have loved and you would have seen creepy. him pick up the phone. I thought it would have been awesome. But I, I don't know in the Halloween kills, if I just saw him like pick up the phone and just go. <laughs> is that like the same scene from part five where he's like, in the jail cell? It just How the kills fuck it. does he work this thing? <laughs> it just kills it for me that he, he would do that instead of just you know it's it's much more eerie when he just picks up the phone in part one and you see his face he's not speaking but for him to sit there and take it and just go slide yeah I don't know it just kills it for me it just uh, Byron, Byron I agree with you wholeheartedly I love the flashback uh, Myers killer man that's fucking awesome. I don't mind the back and forth that they went back to earlier stuff to explain it and go back to present. 
I, I don't mind the hopping around. We kind of have me, that. Tell me that wasn't badass like fucking kills. Tell me that yeah. wasn't the that was the best part of that movie. Was so the a little, back, yeah. A little well, little Tarantino action because all the Tarantino yeah. shit's always out of order. Yes. <laughs> and it and it finds a way to fucking, you know, morph itself back into fucking fruition. Like it comes back and it makes a you make sense of the big picture. Maybe you have two storylines going on what's happening with Michael in the sanitarium and what's happening with his family after the killing. That's not a bad idea. That's good, Eric. That's good, Eric. See how see how they're adapting in the because if like I said, how they mentioned that the family moved away because they couldn't take being there. And now you see what happens to them and how maybe they're uh marginalized by everybody in the in the town and sure. drove them out of the, drove them out of the town. And I mean there could be there could be situations where there's another killer out there killing and, and Michael's getting blamed for it, even though he's locked up and like, Oh, you know, Ooh, there's, look at that. A doppelganger. Know, yeah. There's there. It's the oh, same. No. I know. It's the Corey story again. No, yeah, but, but, but it would make more sense in a setting like that. Right. That directly involved his direct family. You know what I mean? Not, not, you know, yeah. Allison, whoever the fuck, there's nothing. Nobody was invested in Allison, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. So it, it, we, it, it, you know. <laughs> we still need the the Benny Hill music playing with the Corey Michaels sprawl. I'll, I'll, I'll try to have it for this weekend. That's a good idea. Can we see Michaels face in the nut house. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, no, I think yeah. they could they could do the same thing they sort of did when he was in 2018, where you see him from the side. Maybe he's blurred, like you're looking at Loomis and he's in the background and it's blurred. Because I don't know, that just, just takes I, away if you see I actually face. in the David Gordon Green trilogy. I'm sorry, I think the way they portrayed Michael unmasked, I thought they did it just right. I thought it was yeah, because you didn't see spots, no dead, no, no dead, dead on look stares at it or anything. Yeah, yeah, you got the side, you got him in the background and in, in, in rack focus where you're not seeing him, but you're seeing everything else in front. I like that. We didn't get Viking Myers like in Rob's. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they, should, they should have uh, Gaten Matarazzo from Stranger Things play Michael. Oh <laughs> my god, you mean uh, what's his name? Dil what's his name? And uh, oh, what's his name? And uh, uh, oh, Dustin, Dustin, Dustin. <laughs> Dustin with the uh, with the uh... yeah, 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 that would be a good choice. That's my choice. Bro. That's why I don't like the whole thing with the cell phone. <laughs> what if what if he hit like FaceTime and then there's Michael FaceTiming? I can't see that, that would just kill it for me. Instead of like a Dr. Pepper drink like this, uh, Joe, it's gonna be like a prime energy drink, right? <laughs> hey, to me, that would make that would make sense. I mean, because because think about it this way: who was the first unmasked Myers? We all know who that is. I don't you know, know about Myers well, having a list, or, or yeah. Dustin doesn't really have a list, but that's just his character. But, but I'm just right? saying, like that would do that part justice. Like to have him play that part, that would be justice right there, buddy. That would be perfect. <laughs> See Michael have a drinking problem like Ted Stryker? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> With the Dr. True. Pepper. <laughs> we always have an episode of Michael and Corey riding around on the motorcycle. Kill people, <laughs> kill me now. Oh, just kill I like me now. that, Ryan. Oh my god! I, just, I could just, just, just clockwork orange me right now in I front of Skinner just, Rink. I could just envision Ben Stiller on the little scooter with his with his big bodyguard on this on the moped. Dude, I always wanted to see Myers on a Segway, right? You know, just fucking riding around. Do you remember that scene in, in, in Dodgeball where Ben Stiller? No one makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. And then he go gets on the scooter, the moped, and he's like. <laughs> the, no, the taking state books yeah we're actually going to cover them we're going to probably cover them when we're done with with the novelizations and actually we had dustin mcneil we had, on we had dustin on last year yeah last year we had him on as a guest we gotta get we should get him back on actually i'll reach out to him because i, I do want to <laughs> see if he'll join us on those uh book clubs if he has the time or at least and a couple pat, pat has busted his butt to try to get dustin to do a merchandise book oh, across the blue book that would yeah, be something. i'm gonna bring it up to him again say you know what if you got time we're already you know what dustin i'm just about there <laughs> travis I, I i agree with you I, <laughs> I, I agree with you travis it's not corny but i it would be interesting my friend it would be maybe corny as hell but if they did a michael copycat having michael leaving hints for loomis somewhere else to find the killer kind of like Is a that... silence of the lambs type of thing are there a lot of straight out of context, like one liners in the Halloween series? Maybe that should be a topic one day. Like, would you put that thing away? <laughs> a lot of them are from most of them are from Loomis and Braggett. Yeah, yeah. that's true. 
That's very true. The only one Lori really had was, what's the boogeyman? That's Ooh, the rock going to get his ass kicked here? Keys, keys, keys. 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 I always pause the scene in, tw the tw in Twilight Zone's nick of time when Shatner makes that phone call because in black and white, it looks like... Oh, I never oh. thought of that. That's good. Now, now when I, I have to go back and watch that. I should, I should, you know what? I'll go back because I have, I actually, I have everything, every zone on my hard drive. I should go back and take that and put it next to the Myers thing. See, when I saw Nick at time there in that like post that. from Raccoon Eyes, I was thinking of the Johnny Depp movie, the movie that's shot in real time. You guys ever see that movie? It's a good movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, Imagine yeah. doing Halloween in real time. That would have been interesting. Absolutely freaking lootly. Imagine James Jude Courtney's Michael drinking <laughs> Red Bull or Monster Energy. Sorry. <laughs> You'd be whacked. <laughs> and that's going to be interesting. So, all right. So if they do a young Michael, who would, who do you think would be good as a young Michael? I do you have to find a nobody probably to make it kind of worthwhile? I think you'd have to find a nobody. Yeah. Once you start putting a layup label on somebody, uh... There's no real hot, you know, actors that are kids out there. I mean, like, like it's not like you had a. There's no, to my knowledge, maybe somebody, maybe some of the kids in Stranger Things, or they pick some one of those kids, because maybe they're those are like the hot actors now. It's not like there's a Macaulay Culkin out there somewhere, you know. Yeah, I don't know if Stiff or like Wood. John William Scott hasn't done anything in a few years. Throw him behind the mask. I don't know. <laughs> some something, man. I don't know. I don't know of any young character or young actors right now. I don't know. Where's Chris That's Klein been from American Pie? Oh, Jason God. Biggs. Where are these guys been? Throw somebody <laughs> like that. I don't know. That's a good question. Like, what child actor would legit? I would love an invitation, almost anthology style of Kelly O'Rourke's Halloween novels. Yeah. Actually, yeah, we got to do those too. Yeah, I keep forgetting we got to do those. Oh, you're talking about, uh, oh, what's his name? He was, uh, was it? Not Quicksilver. Oh, yeah. The, From X-Men. Yeah, he's a great actor, man. Oh, what's his I name? highly doubt we can get Jason Schwartz Tally Shire's son. <laughs> makes that okay. hair doll in that one movie. He's obsessed with that chick. Makes Finds all her hair. Is his name Evan hair something? Doll. Evan something? Uh, it's Evan Peters. There you Evan go. Peters. Evan, oh, Peters. Evan Peters. That's right. He's 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 awesome, dude. That dude, he's 37 he's, years old. <laughs> he still looks young now. He's my age. Holy shit. Holy shnikes. Holy shnikes. Yeah, he would be good because he was. I love him on American Horror Story. I, I still, he was the best as uh, Lobster Boy. Did you ever see the one, the carnival, the the the, the carnival season, the freak show? Mm -hmm. Did you nope. see that? Oh, that it's season. Been, it's been yeah. a while. Hmm. That was a good season. They're, they're all good seasons. Well, but yeah, well. I. I I mean, what else could we could be said about this? I mean, there's only a little bit out there, but there's going to be nothing but speculation now for months on end. And we could do a whole show on where we think, you know, since they're saying they're going to utilize characters from the original movie, we could do an episode on where we're thinking about, okay, who are they going to utilize? Like we mentioned before, yeah. some characters that they may not have had such a bigger role, but now they bring a bigger role in. Who could play those parts? Or like the first few episodes, do you concentrate on each of these characters for give them their own 20 minutes an episode or something to concentrate on them to see what they're doing or how they're going to be involved in all this? Yeah, I think they're going to start absolutely fresh with like all brand new actors and actresses. God, honest truth. I think they're going to go out there and just give. And to be honest with you, chance. is that a bad thing? I don't think that's a bad thing. Not bad yeah. at all. Not bad at all. It, there were a bunch of nobodies when they did the first one. I think it's only fitting that they give somebody. It's kind of like. Um, I think you, you know, got to have somebody portray Loomis as a name, though. I think that. Would yeah, somebody like, like that. Yeah, yeah. Of, of, yeah, of stature. It's like the LeBron James effect. Like LeBron James needs to retire and get out of the way to allow somebody else to move up and shine. Like, you know, give a younger generation of people the opportunity to be, you know, famous. You know? That would be a good Loomis. Ed Harris. Yeah, that would Ed. be good. He's old as dog Eddie, shit, though. Eddie. Eddie, what have you done for me lately, Eddie? I want you ten to play episodes, Dr. Loomis. I, yeah, I think make him about 45 minutes to an hour, a 10-episode season, or even a dozen, and that's fine. I'm, I'm good with that. My biggest thing is just please don't just make it a big dump. Make it every make, make it once a week. Let us 
let us stew that week and let us discuss it and anticipate what's coming next instead hmm. of just giving it to us all at once. That would be that's ideal, I think. Yes, I agree. I think we agree to that. We agree to disagree. <laughs> yeah, Ben Peters. I th- yeah, that would, he would be good. I think he would. I mean, he'd be pulling. He was great, Dahmer. I mean, he was good on American Horror Story, but and actually, I know my. He's like a he's like a heartthrob too, because I know my daughter and all her friends. They all watch Dahmer because young girls, for some reason, are like into serial killers now, <laughs> and um, they all they not, all love them. That's not good. Yeah, my daughter it scares me. She's you know, like, I love horror, and I, but she's like, she's like, Dad, and, and this one, this series, I'm like, you're really starting to scare me now. <laughs> she just loves all that stuff. I'm like, you're, and her and her friends. And it's funny because I just started watching that show based on a true story. And it's like that where all those housewives are intrigued by serial killers and, and true crime. So it must that's, be like a, a thing now. That's kind of weird. That's just weird. Extremely weird. I'm, but no, to say the least, I'm I'm very excited. I am super excited. It sounds like The Rock. Have each episode be from the perspective yes. of one of Sorry. the film characters. The Rock's getting intense. The <laughs> film could be cool, like where Bracket goes at the end. Yeah. Well, I think that that's what it seems like they're going to do. They want to explore the characters, and I think that they're, they're going to do that. They might explore each character in that. Give it more. Give them more of like a robust backstory that you that you don't see because in the first one we just know who bob is well and then going back to the novelization they do give a little bit of a big, big backstory he's like this football player he's he's a popular guy he's one of the people that you know with heartthrobs and so there's a there's a little bit more of an exposition of the backstories in the novelizations because they have to they have to fill up pages yep they, so it's much more narrative on characters Let's see that. Let's see the backstory on uh, more of a pack story on PJ, PJ Souls, but on the Linda character. Let's see yeah. the backstory on Annie. You know, with her, you know, with, with uh, Sheriff Brackett at home and the mom. Yeah. Be so much cool stuff to see. Well, I agree. And the OG characters, you can have them, you could even throw an OG character in there as a, as a what do you call it, like a, a cameo. You know, throw sheriff, show, throw Charles Cyphers, bless his soul. Hopefully, he he's got many more years to go, but he's up there. But put him in there as her grandfather. Why don't we have Deputy Hunt right. with uh, Bracket in the the movie? Why not? Have, or the TV show? We can't Hunt even was get a great character. character. We can't even get Hunt as, at, at a, a convention, so he, it won't be the OG guy. That's for sure. Dude, he would freaking cash in big time. Big time. Oh yeah, absolutely. But he has zero interest. Reflections from Paul. Have Carpenter narrate the intro to each episode. He was Paul after all. Then you have your franchise veteran anchor launch point. Yeah. There's so much backstory on those characters that they could they could dive into. Absolutely. And exactly. There's going to be so much, especially, especially, you know, Matt on Monday nights and all of us here will we'll probably be doing more of these going forward every time they, they, they throw us a crumb. It's going to be a fun ride. And this is the way it was. Ooh, That's you know, Some people could maybe slapped. not like the trilogy that much, but it gave us so much to talk about and so much to be excited for for five years. Yeah. All right. And we are very grateful. Both, both the three of us together. <laughs> I just right. want to see Joe run across the street again. And for that, I am very grateful. Yes. The, and shape, yet, the shape works in mysterious ways. Maybe they get Carpenter involved in the music. Yeah. You know what? And maybe if, even if Carpenter doesn't want to do it, maybe he'll just put it off on his son. I and think that's an easy yes for Carpenter now as he's day, doing the music, don't you think? He's like, sure. Yeah. That new track is killer, though. I did like it. I don't know if you guys is thought it? it was good. I saw, yeah, the, did, I, I saw the video, but I didn't buy anything. Did you pre-order the new set, the, the signed one? I bought a signed one. I bought another <laughs> variant. I bought a CD. You <laughs> the signed one's all gone? They went within like a few hours. Yeah, I figured as much. I got so busy, I forgot all about it. But whatever, I'll still go buy a set. But I missed out on the signed ones. Yeah, when I logged in, it was like there are two left. I'm like, I have no money. I cannot buy that right now. <laughs> yeah, I have no money. I actually, you know what though? <laughs> it, it, screw the new stuff. Just go on tour. I'm really, I care about him going more on. Tour I would again. much rather him do a tour. Let's, let's yes. come on, get him out there on tour. Bring your scraggly ass out on tour. Man. One more last tour, <laughs> Doctor Dead. You, you know he can't do it anymore. While he can't, while you can do it, let's get out there and do it. 
Let's see. Who would you guys like to compose music for future Halloween films or TV shows? And why would you choose that specific person? It's so hard to think of that because I really think they got Carpenter locked up to do it. I think he'll do it no matter what. But um, I think he'll just oh, because it's easy. He could just phone it in. He's got dibs. I would like to see them bring Alan Howarth back. Let him come back and and, and even yeah. if they have in the TV show, let him throw a couple throw a couple tunes in there. Let's just get his his uh stamp back on the Halloween. Who franchise. else has really <laughs> tested the Halloween theme besides those two? Right. Like, there yeah. isn't... Well, there was what Tyler Bates who did it for Zombie. Oh, that Tyler Bates too. Yeah. Then there was uh, I had like that John Ottman, which <laughs> Alan Silvestri come and do the Halloween theme. <laughs> John Ottman. They didn't even use John Ottman's. It, it was, John it was Williams, I know you're 92. Can you do your version of the Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what? Would be cool to hear his, him put a stamp on it. Ha uh, Harry Manfredini. Oh, of course. Ooh, wow, that would be kinky. Of course. My Imagine not, John right? Carpenter's Carson? version of Friday the 13th. <laughs> You just mentioned yeah, right? his name, and I, I want to watch a Friday the Thirteenth movie now. Yeah, well, well, John Carpenter's version of the the, the Friday Thirteenth theme, because you remember Harry Manfredini said it was kick, 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 ma, ma, ma. Yeah, John Carpenter's would be check, 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 more, more, more. Indeed, <laughs> touche, my good friend, touche. That's exactly what it would be. Oh, was... Danny Lux, that's a good one, D Tiger. I forgot about Danny Lux. Danny Lux, yeah, Resurrection. <laughs> That sounds yeah. like a porno name, Danny Lux. Yeah, I bu I bought that simply just to put it in the collection, and it just that's it, and that's where it sits. <laughs> uh, we can hope. Uh, oh, if they pay him, but seriously, yeah, he, he. I think the only way you'll get him involved in the TV show is well, you know what, Malik got him as a as a as an executive yeah, producer, I think, and I don't I think, think he Malik did anything. The, he would be the one to really try to get him to do it. Now he would just say, "Look, let us pay you." To put you basically what he did for the trilogy, we'll pay you to just let you us put your name on it because it'll get interest. Why it's not? Uh, also, why not hire Chris Nelson to do a different interpretation of the mask? Keep Chris doing it. I'd Keep Chris oh. in there. Why not? to be biased that our channel's biased, but why not? <laughs> why not? He did hey, a great job. And that's if he wants to, you know. Oh, he oh, he said right away. Yeah, I think somebody asked him about it recently, right? Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, bad, bad. oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, dude, I'll take the gig again. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Easy money. That's what we call easy money. Pay that man his money. Pay. Net, 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 net. Pay that Want man his money. <laughs> yeah, but, go, but going forward, when we get dribs and drabs, we can go live and do. We can do check, hopefully, check, check. And we can do some uh, more discussions on this. There's going to be a lot of discussions now. He trapped so hopefully, me. throw us crumbs. <laughs> Teddy gave me G the bad Russian. <laughs> Throw us some more crumbs so we have more stuff to talk about uh, and speculate. The next time I stick it in you. <laughs> oh, you can't believe what yeah. fell. Oh, back okay. for more? <laughs> <laughs> we talk about that all night. We need to stop. Dude, that's a great movie, though, dude. Oh, that's the best. Cast. Rounders is the shit. Let's see what else. Yeah, I think we got it. We made me cast. nervous. For real. I don't know. So, what do you think? In closing, uh, anything that you guys got anything else? Uh, what do you think those? I'm just thinking next. The only thing I think they'll do next is one of two things. Maybe announce one or two actors or actresses that are attached to it who've signed on, and or where they're going to put it. And where they put it, I think, is next, Pat. I think that would think, be my I opinion. Peacock yeah. or yeah. whatever, but I, 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 my money's on Peacock. My money's on the cock. Jesus Christ. Get your cock out is what we say in the wrestling watch alongs. Perv per <laughs> alert. Perv alert. Yep. <laughs> What if Tom Savini and, and Fabricate Jason Baker made a Michael Myers mask for a future Halloween movie? How would you feel about that? He would never do it because he was never a fan of Halloween. <laughs> no, I think he would. I don't think he'd do it just on principle. <laughs> yeah, and you know what's funny though? His points about it are actually pretty legit too. I, as much as it's a, we all love Halloween, I, I get his points with it. it it's pretty funny. <gasps> yeah, but you could say the same points for Friday the Thirteenth. He did it Friday the Thirteenth. Yes, of course. It's He's all the same thing. Oh, practice. this is unrealistic. It's, this is like it, look what you just biased. did for Friday the Thirteenth. That's unreal. Yeah. He's, biased as, yeah, he he's biased, biased as fuck. Yeah. He's biased as fuck. He's biased as fuck. He always has been. I, I, I don't know. I'll give him more respect now since he almost lit Sean on fire. No offense, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tom Savini's that guy that needs to hang it up, man. He's old. Well, he's not really doing too much anymore anyways. He's kind of just doing his convention thing. And he that's... wanted to do the Peter Graves from Airplane. Ever set a man on fire? 
<laughs> Dude, he's awesome and from Dust Till Dawn with that belt buckle. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's next machine. He's badass in that movie. Don't get me wrong. But That's he... a watch along. That actually should be a watch along one day, too. Fuck yeah. From, from Dust Till Dawn. I would love for maybe Audible to do an audio drama for Halloween so they can use some of the actors out having to show them, utilize the sound design, music to generate the tension. Yeah, well, yeah. you also got to remember what might start coming out in tandem with this is the Halloween video game because remember they he did say yeah. they were working on a video game. But tra that's a good point on Travis's part. Let your own imagination put that all together. That's that's a that's what it's all about, right? Make yeah. it like a Dungeons and Dragons adventure where you you create your own path yeah. within Get the, the, the Myers universe. <laughs> I like that. Huh? You like that? Uh, you like the Myers. Talking dirty, aren't you? Like that, don't you? We still wish we can get Tom Atkins back or Dr. Ch Tell you, throw Tom Atkins in there as Dr. Loomis. Oh, that would be dangerous. Why not? But you need to make Dr. Loomis like a, like a sex machine or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sex oh, machine. Jesus. Eric M. Okay, more out of. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Oh, Please. God. Yeah, Eric, yeah, a lot Eric, more. I, yes, I'm still paying for that. <laughs> Recast oh, Bob well, Goldthwait as Michael's fanatic in Resurrection, Bob Goldthwait. Oh, as, uh, what's his name? The clown guy, right? Yeah, that'd uh, be cool. How, uh, Howard. Yeah. yeah, that would be good. But he would have to do it in his Police Academy voice. Oh, Michael geez. Myers, uh, born uh, October 19th, 19th. <laughs> he'd, have to use the, he'd have to use the Bobcat Goldthwait uh, voice. That is so bad. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> HBO, Max HBO would be my preferred streamer. HBO quality and HBO. It's true, but I don't know. Yeah, that or Prime. Prime would be that way too, Matt. Yeah, yeah. Um, Prime, Peacock, HBO Max. It's got to be. It's got to be one of those. I I don't see Netflix doing it because they have enough already. This because whoever's going to get it, it's going to come with a hefty price tag. You got to remember that. It's not like they're just going to let them put it on there for free. But then you're you know, saying that Netflix could afford it, though. That's the thing, though. Too. They could afford it, yeah. but I don't know. They have so much on there. I maybe maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe they'll jump all over because they saw how much money the trilogy generated. Maybe they figure yeah. it's worth it. Yeah, I would assume. Why not? Perhaps. perhaps. I don't. Says, on a side note, Pat, should we go meet Sybil Shepherd? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, right? laughs> <laughs> Theme like how Lori. Oh, like oh, oh, Allison's theme, or I mean, well, one of my favorite um, tunes from the tr from the trilogy is uh, when the shape hunts Allison. So, oh, that's, that's the pretty best. Much it's pretty much that's, theme. <laughs> that's some good high ring in there. I that is like the kid. I love that's that what this stuff does to kids. That shit is fucking terrifying when she sees him for the first time. That's fucking good shit right there, buddy. Yeah, I only wish the chase was the, longer. Just yeah. with the gate in the way, or the you know the fence in the way, that was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. I wish Absolutely. the chase was longer. That Absolutely. was it, because she basically ran around the block and somebody let her in. It would have been nice if they didn't let her in, because it would have been a callback to what happened to Lori that night. Remember, she banged on the neighbor's door, and the neighbor turned the light on and said, yep. didn't let her in. I still really want to see that alternate uh, ending of that 2018 film. I hope we see that somewhere down the road. It'll be on one of the 18 other releases of it that they release every year for us. So they're just they're just holding it like a carrot. Like, one of these days, it'll appear. Oh, uh, they're losing time for physical media, though. Uh, no shit. But that's going to be a big seller for them. Dude. They'll, just, they'll, they'll just sell that direct. I can see that coming directly. You, you'll see somebody like Trick or Treat Studios pick that up because they sell so much Halloween shit. Yeah, that's going to be on I can, my I can list. I see that. New masks, new fucking fu everything. Every fucking. Where am I going to put it? Oh, shit. The fucking mother. It creates like I do, Pat. Oh. <laughs> It's gonna be you're gonna That's need a fun. whole new fucking basement, bro. You're gonna need a whole another wing of shit. If they do uh, Netflix, they could just have one of Axel Foley's friends get killed by Myers, so he goes to Hadfield and pisses off the police force. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Travis, you, you got me wondering there now. <laughs> so it'd be, it'd be like Beverly Hills Halloween. <laughs> Beverly Hills Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of cross over there. A little full. Let us that. Little do we know Billy Rosewood was Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Paul was the horny bastard. <laughs> well, that's pretty funny. But I think that's it. That's uh that you know, we did a lot of speculation tonight, had some good uh dialogue with everybody, and uh unfortunately everybody in the chat seems to be very uh happy about it, positive. 
unlike some of the trolls I saw out there that were just shitting all over it before it even started. No, I think our group of guys here, like, oh, hey, Rob, be positive. Evening, let's be positive yeah. about it. Think, think, you know, let's see what happens. You know, it's don't, you know, don't shit on it before it's even out there. What's up, no, Rob? No. Windsor's in the house. Put another shrimp on the Robbie. <laughs> new, new show. Lindsay is the housewife of Haddonfield. <laughs> <laughs> The, the real housewives of the Haddonfield. Oh, God. Could you imagine? <laughs> That's good. What's the news? Oh, where you been? You've been working all day in the restaurant. The news is that uh, they... you fucking with us? <laughs> I, 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 or do you not actually know the news? Yeah, it was. It hit news earlier today. I think what, Bloody Disgusting was the first one that reported it, right? I think Bloody Disgusting just, broke it's it. It's not really That's anything, anyways. They're just saying kind of what they're what the direction's going to be. So. I, it, it, it blew up in, in the, all the Halloween sites and geeked them like us because Malik just said it's going to be a TV show, but he never said about what. Like, so yeah, I was here. We found out what it's going to be about. Not, not everything, but it's going to be based on, it's going to be a reset back to the original movie. So it's obviously going to take, so right there, ambiguity, no brother, sister arc, or maybe there is. Is yeah. it going to be before he kills as a child leading up to killing? We don't know. Is it going to be start off with the killing like the original did, and then we'll, we'll see him in the asylum? And then maybe it ends with him uh, breaking out, or it ends with him in Haddonfield chasing Laurie. Who, there's so much you know that you could mm. that's that to speculate on. Who the hell knows? Are we going to have another Loomis saying, You don't have a police force, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm telling you, he's coming to Haddonfield. I know him. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you have a, I know him. I'm his one, father. Oh boy, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> and each episode could have its own name. And of course, you know what the first what the episode is of him breaking out is. You know, it could be called El Conejo es Rojo. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I you know, I gotta tell you, I, I I'm getting prepared when this does come out. What they do, what they change, because you know something will be changed, and people are gonna be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> we are the we are the uh, what do they call that? We are the Star Trekkies of horror, aren't we? <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, in a way, I guess. I guess so. Well, they didn't oh. give a timeline yet. It didn't say when it was coming out. They just said it was a it was a reset of the franchise, going back to the original. Where they're gonna uh, bring back like some of the back original to the characters? As Malika yeah. Mustafa Khan, right back. Okay. Yeah, so they're gonna explore a lot of the original characters from the OG film. So there's so much speculation because there's so much in the original film that, as the other films evolved, changed. Brother, sister. You, you don't know, have a it, police force. <laughs> no police force. Reverend Jackson P. Sorry. Sayers. That's right. So, Mr. It's Sayers, gonna be very, it's gonna be very, very interesting. Can't wait. Going forward. It's Can't gonna be a win. lot of fun. So we do a lot every time they do drips and drabs, we can do a quick episode where we just chat and and speculate the hell out of everything, like everybody else is be, gonna be doing. <laughs> and if any of you uh people involved, uh, the crew <laughs> developers of the show, we're gonna do a casting call. Casting call. <laughs> or if maybe you, if you need somebody in the sh in the in the shows, uh, invite us. We'd love to be out there. Maybe we'll put together an episode where we speculate. Who they should bring and who should play, just like we talked about earlier, we, where we I, threw a bunch I, of names out. I wouldn't be mind being one of the other inmates in a gown. I think that'd be pretty fun. <laughs> I'll be yelling Toga the entire time. You'd be, <laughs> be, immort be immortalized forever. Hey, I'd like to. I'd like to sit in some togas with you guys just to shoot a brief uh, scene. Toga. That'd be fun. Toga. I'll be like the crazy uh, yeah. lady in uh in uh, the Curse of Michael Myers. How does it feel to be damned? Jesus. Oh, scary. Quit it, lady. You're scaring me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Hey, it could take place in Mrs. Blankenship's uh, boarding house. That's right. Oh. If they do an episode set in the 60s or 70s, I could easily see an episode titled Rabbit in Red or <laughs> for Smash Broadcast. <laughs> exactly. I'm telling you. That's funny. That's oh, come on. Let's oh. come on. I, he was a doctor in the Friday 13th Part 7. Let's have Terry Kaiser, Bernie, play Dr. Loomis. Oh, it would be God. totally silly. I would go for it. <laughs> and how great would that? Uh, but the, no, he, it would be good to have him in it, but then you have to have him killed off so you can see it like a dead bird in a, a Halloween, dead mask, Halloween movie. Ooh, Joe, the Bucks and Lakers are. He'll out. sit there with the face like, remember Bernie's oh. face? Oh yeah, <laughs> with the sunglasses. You got to have the sunglasses on. <laughs> All right. Oh, so what do you guys say? We'll we'll uh, we'll head out. 
um just yes. everybody thanks for joining yes. us this is this is great we'll do a couple more when we hear some more or maybe we'll just do some updates and just uh maybe like talk about uh doing a, a recasting and see where uh who out there could fill those roles whether they're known actors or not or not well-known people just people that we could think of and just see where things are going so we can put together a bunch of stuff based on this but uh make sure everybody comes back for sunday because today's Friday. We'll yeah. be back Sunday night for our podcast. And it's our 50th podcast. And we have a special guest joining us. None other than the lovely Miss Christy Adams. Nightmare Christy will be joining us for our 50th episode this Sunday night. So come hang out. Wine shirt day. Just kidding. <laughs> Look, it lines up perfectly. It says Nightmare Christy TV series. Breaking news. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. we should. Yeah, you should take a still of that bad. That's pretty funny. I'll, send, I'll, I'll send that to you. Like, I have my own TV series now. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, but make sure you guys come and join us on Sunday night when we welcome her as our guest for our fiftieth and uh fiftieth uh, fiftieth anniversary. <laughs> Damn, oh, Travis, <laughs> boy, are you right? Yeah, Jeffrey <laughs> Daniels. Jeff Daniels sounds just so like Hunt. Yep. Take care, on. Travis. Jeff Thanks, Daniels. Travis. That would be really, that's a good choice. Yeah. He's spot on as Hunt. There's no doubt. Yep. That would be a real good one as uh, Debbie Hunt. That would be really cool. But yeah, we're going to head out. Uh, you guys hang out. We'll say our goodbyes after the fact. Everybody make sure you like, subscribe, hit that like button, hit the subscribe oh, button, all the happy horse shit. Go check out all the links at the bottom. Go check out Joe's channel and come back on Sunday night. It's going to be a lot of fun as we celebrate our 50th episode with uh, Miss Nightmare Christy. It's going to be awesome. Oh, bro. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for joining <laughs> there, Matt. El Conejo Yeah, Matt, Matt, we'll see you. Uh, I fell asleep on a Monday night, so I, never, I didn't get a chance to see the Eric Preston when I have to rewatch it. Um, but we'll definitely see you on Monday night because uh, Jeffrey Landman, Billy. Yes. Billy. B -b 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 Billy. Billy. <laughs> Billy. Oh, what was his last name in it? Oh, Sean. Sure. I don't know. He just didn't know how to ride a bike, remember? That was the whole thing. Was I hope Matt hits on that. Really what happened with I the forget. bike? What's going on with the bike? I don't know. But yeah, let's head what out. What you do with the bike? You guys hang on. Everybody, have a great weekend. We'll see you guys on Sunday night. Good night. Good night.